Hey everyone, are you curious about what behaviors repel a person and what behaviors attract a specific person? If so, this video is for you and we are going to do this like you've never heard this before by using the law of assumption. If you guys do not know me, my name is Megan. I'm a law of assumption coach. I have been doing this for about seven years now and saying this for over a decade. So I understand this. So if you want to work with me, what we do is we dive into those subconscious beliefs and shift your mindset. Okay, this is truly shifting your mindset into a different belief system. Okay, so that's what we do. If you'd like to work together with me, check out the description, the link below. Um, also, I have a lot of other videos that could help you guys manifest what you want in your reality. So we're going to talk about, I'm going to look at my notes here again, so I don't forget anything. Um, so this is going to be looking at repelling behaviors as something that you, a way that you've probably never looked at this before. Again, there's so many people online who are giving advice and is teaching people to play games. And my goal is to help you, um, manifest your relationship by not playing games. Okay. You're manifesting all the time anyway. Okay. So you're always manifesting. This never stops. But now we're going to use it and understand it so we can use it to help us manifest what we want in our reality. So if you have someone in your life that you're trying to attract or draw in, let's talk about some repelling behaviors that other people are not talking about. Okay, these are specific things that I see as repelling behaviors with helping people and with stopping people in their manifestations. Now, of course, everybody is completely different because it all comes from what our subconscious programming is, which occurs when we're younger. So if we've had a um, subconscious belief that's been going on and on, you might not be aware of it because it's subconscious. So that's where I come in. I'm able to help you figure out what your limiting beliefs are and what's staying between you and your manifestation so you can have it unfold more easily okay and quicker as well and making lifelong lasting relationships okay and lifelong lasting fixes as we're shifting your whole mindset so it's not gonna be a quick fix this is gonna be something where i want you guys to have long lasting results not band-aid effects okay not band-aid things so some repelling behaviors are your negative thoughts and assumptions Okay, in regards to a couple of different areas. So let's talk about your negative assumptions about relationships in general. If you are talking all day and living subconsciously or maybe consciously choosing these thoughts and saying things such as relationships don't work out for me, I'm, I'm always cheated on, people leave me, I never get chosen, um, or I'm unlucky in love. If that's your thought process in relationships, well, guess what, sister brother? <laughs> it's going to keep manifesting out. So you need to stop that. That's repelling your relationship. It's stopping your relationship from coming into you because that is your assumption about yourself in regards to a relationship. So you need to stop, okay? You need to stop vibrating that energy. You need to stop with that assumption because you're going to continuously manifest that in your reality because your thoughts are things okay our thoughts are dna that create our reality now you need to start becoming aware of what are my subconscious beliefs am i saying this all the time and you know put the kibosh on that stop that if you don't like it you need to stop it because you need to change this for yourself you need to catch yourself in this so when you feel lonely or you feel like things aren't working out for you this is a time for you to say what you want okay so remember um, I think Abraham Hicks says this, that when we see something that we don't like, it's a contrast to show us what we can have in our reality. So, you know, let's change that perception of when we see something that we don't like and think like, oh, what the F's wrong with us? Never going to get what I want to be like, oh my gosh, that's actually just the contrast. I'm feeling a certain way because it's showing my, my contrast of what I want. And that's where we launch our desires out of that. Okay. We can launch our desires out of figuring out what we don't want. So if you are unlucky in love, let's say that's what you think, then that means, or if you're feeling lonely, then that means you want a relationship. If you feel like people leave you, then you're going to say people stay with me. Those are gonna be your desires, okay? They're contrast of each other. But you need to stop with the negative assumptions and you need to start being aware of what you're saying. As I said before, your thoughts are creating. So those negative assumptions and beliefs 
and I just gave you one, okay? There could be several, again, and not there's not one umbrella here. Everybody has different subconscious beliefs that they have and programs they have going on based on things that happen in their childhood, based on things adult, maybe um, media, social media, maybe friends. There's all sorts of different things that create our subconscious beliefs that are on autopilot. So I want you to start becoming aware of what your negative assumptions are surrounding just looking at love, okay? As well as your specific person, obviously. Because if you're continuously saying, I'm unlucky in love, reality is going to continuously give you that again and again, okay? And it's out of alignment who you are because at the end of the day, you want love. So if you have the contrast come up, we don't need to fear that contrast. That's just give us as a place to launch our desires. And as Neville Goddard says, you know, we know that there are a quantum field or he think he calls a force fourth dimension. Okay, so he's saying that what we're saying all day long, okay, are imaginal acts. Those inner conversations we're having all day are imaginal acts and then they become our reality. So again, we want to start being more and more cognizant and aware of what we're saying all day in relation to ourselves and what we're trying to manifest and stop it because it's going to repel your person. It's going to repel the relationship if you're saying these negative things. So start saying positive things. Um, number two, these are no order, just things that I've been watching and helping people over so many years and thousands of people manifest what they want in their reality. Something else I see is this need to change yourself. So you need to stop trying to change yourself for other people. Okay, you need to learn to accept yourself for who you are. You need to stop thinking people are better than you. So what I mean is people want to always conform. It seems like people are wanting to conform to fit in for their specific person to love them. You know, I've talked about this in lots of videos of earning love. This is a different way. So if you're feeling like you need to change, you need to like lose some weight, you know, you need to um, change your hair color, you need to change your eye color, you need to change the way you dress. I don't know, I'm just saying various things come up. You need to be more promiscuous or not. You know, whatever you're doing, if you're trying to change for your specific person, you need to stop that. That is repelling behavior, okay? You're putting them ahead of you. You're putting their needs ahead of you and you're forgetting they don't have free will and they're a mirror. So it's repelling to continuously try to change yourself for somebody else, okay? If you're trying to do it to earn a love, you need to stop that. That is repelling behavior. Okay, I need to always act cool. I need I have the cool girl video out there, a cool person video as well, um, as well as putting people above on um, pedestals. There's other videos. You can check those out as well. But if you are continuously trying to change yourself and conform yourself for somebody else, you need to stop that. That's repelling your specific person. Instead, you want to embody your own confidence. What makes you unique, okay? You need to stop trying to change other, um, change yourself for other people. Accept yourself for who you are, okay? That's going to draw somebody into you, okay? The assumption is you're accepting yourself. If you don't accept yourself, other people aren't going to accept you. Um, number three, stop being a relate. This kind of goes with number two, but I'm going to still say it because I think this is important. Stop being a relationship chameleon. Okay. If you're doing that and you're changing yourself, you're not really in a relationship anyway. You're just trying to be somebody you think that they want you to be. Okay. So let that sink in. How many times have you guys tried to pretend to be somebody that you weren't? Try to be interested in something that you're not interested in just to get your person's attention, okay? Or decide to like this type of music or adopt the, you know, I'm going to start watching this TV show, pretend like it's my favorite TV show. Um, it's, that's what you're happening this month and then the next month, you're on the next person. You're like, oh, you know what? I really am, don't like, you know, reggae music anymore. It's totally into rap because your partner now likes rap. Okay, so if you're an emotional, uh, or if you're a chameleon, relationship chameleon, you are changing yourself again to be lovable for your specific person. So we need to stop that. You're repelling that behavior. Be unique. You're repelling a, your person with that behavior, okay? Because you're truly not being yourself. You're actually in a relationship. They're in a relationship with someone that they probably don't even know because you don't even feel like it's safe to be yourself because you're not accepting yourself. So therefore, you're changing yourself in every single relationship to fit into them because guess what? Again, you're putting them above you, okay? So you really need to think about what you need, okay? That's what's going to attract your partner. What do you need? Be that confident person that says what they want, okay? A lot of people can't do that, but I want you guys to do that. Also, we need to romance yourself, okay? So fall in love with yourself, 
love yourself unconditionally, okay? And you will automatically attract that person. Why? Let's say this again. Fall in love with yourself, accept yourself with those flaws, and you will automatically attract a reflection of that, okay? Why? <laughs> because everybody's you pushed out, right? Everybody is just a mirror to you, okay? Which goes to my next point. Not remembering relationships are a mirror, okay? Reflecting to us what we want, okay? What, what our assumptions are, what our beliefs are. So people are just mirroring back to us what we have going on internally. So we forget that. So a lot of people are reacting to what they're seeing in their 3D and forget that people are just meeting us exactly where we think what we deserve, what we think we're worthy of, okay? Because again, we're doing all these other things to earn somebody's love, to attract somebody's love, and that is repelling behavior, okay? The behavior that is not repelling is truly accepting yourself, okay? Valuing yourself, loving yourself unconditionally, falling in love with yourself, okay? Then the reflection changes once you do that, all right? So those are my tips to stop repelling other people, okay? Because the, in the law of assumption area, okay? Because those behaviors, those mindsets, okay? It's really just a mindset. Maybe that's what I shouldn't say more in this video. It's a mindset. Those mindset is just a reflection, okay? It's just going to be reflecting what you don't want back in your reality. So to shift that, you have to shift your mindset, okay? And that's what I'm here to help you figure out what your limiting beliefs are, what's going on in that subconscious programming. Because again, manifestation can be very easy, okay? If you're truly aware of what you're saying to yourself, it can be truly, it can be truly easy, but we also have to be able to break out of those paradigm shifts. Also be aware of what we're doing changing um, some of our beliefs that we've had radically, thinking that we have to earn our love for other people, thinking that we need to change for other people, thinking that we have to be different. Like those are totally different radical lifetime, life um, changing assumptions, okay? A totally different paradigm shift, especially when if you watch some of these other things of dating coaches of people saying to continuously change yourself and be someone that you're not, okay? You are perfect, whole, and complete how you are. So stop trying to fit into other people's lives. See how other people can fit into your life. Again, you are the star of your show, okay? No one else is. This is your reality. You can have what you want. You can have what you want by actually giving it to yourself first. All right, you guys, I intend that this video is helpful. Please give it a thumbs up, comment, like, and subscribe. Um, and if you guys want to work together, check out the description. And I would love to help you guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.